Right, folks, hello. You find us here at Benham. Well, bro has brought me here to see this old bridge, and we're going to have a look at the uh, the river. So, Benham, Benham Bridge, bro, yes. Benham Bridge, old Benham Bridge. Old one. Benham Bridge. Well, excellent, right. Let's have a look, see how high we are. Oh, quite high, aren't they? Yeah. So there's the new bridge. Guy here, look. He's small. Well, wow, it's like a, a haribo stuck to the side of the. Look. Very small indeed. Now, folks, not really sure how old this is. Um, there's normally some sort of plinth or um, somebody's engraved the date into the the uh, the top of the the bridge, but there's nothing here. So, Bro and I have used our our, um, our common knowledge, and we've come up with the year 17. Where are you, bro? Come up, come up with the year 1707 for this bridge to be <laughs> to be built. Yes. Right now we're walking on the new bridge. Uh, this is the A92 going up here. So I actually made it under the bridge here. Oh, it's quite dangerous. There's like a Peruvian death road here, look. The road just crumbles away here, so we have to be careful. Wow. Let's see if we can do this there. Space! Sort of a short echo, kind of like a gated sound there, but uh, not bad. Right, so yeah, this, uh, this is the new bridge. And you can see all the foundations under here and then you've got the old bridge there so there's a bit of a contrast not much of a contrast in the way they they built the bridges as i say i reckon this one's probably maybe 1700 and this one would have been built in the what, 40s 50s 60s maybe so yeah they just it's just a similar curve so you can see the designs haven't changed much over the years there it goes fantastic very filming me. Yeah. Right, so I'm come back up the side here, folks. I seem to be a bit stuck. Oh, no. Hang on. Oh. I think I'm going to make it though. Oh no, it's giving me under foot here. However, I have succeeded. There we go. Oh, right. We've done it. Right, we're saying if we had to pick a book, which one would we pick out here? So I picked Richard Hammond's Life in the Edge. Bro, what did you pick? That's an Ian Banks one. Oh, which one is it? I would pick out mug cakes. Oh, I had to make cakes in a mug. <laughs> <laughs> awesome idea. Um, folks, we're just kind of driving about the back roads of Benham. Have come across this old 
out. It's like a, is it an air raid shelter or something? I don't know. We're going to have a closer look at it. Yeah, I'm quite seeing it. Right, so not too short this is, folks. The entrance doesn't go in too far, so... Um, was it for human use? I don't know. Maybe it's just a pig thing, I don't know. Right, anyway. Right, so yeah, we're going to go down and see if there's any uh, guillemots or puffins or the season says between April and um, sort of, what was it, April August. and August. So there might be some, some signs of um, wildlife down here, folks. And uh, also, we're going to see the waterfall. Don't, don't hold out much hope for the waterfall, though. Coming up here to the top of the waterfall, you feel the spray coming off it. Well, the water's quite rough today. Oh no, yes, right, okay. Well, here we are at the top of the waterfall, folks, but no, don't try and go over there, bro. Not even for a picture, don't do it. down into the actual uh, the bay bit so we can see the waterfall but it looks a bit, a bit weak and feeble today I'm afraid. Uh, yeah we're on the top of it just a wee while back and there's not been much rain so yeah it's just bound to be never mind. What is 
there's a proven death row here. Well folks, we're trying to get down to the uh, the water's hedge, edge here, but it's quite a, a dangerous <coughs> proving death road. But I think we might be able to make it. It's just a bit wet and boggy, that's the only thing. Okay, just take it easy. Ooh. Not all. Only thing is there's nesting birds down here, I think. Right, anyway, we shall persevere. Right, so it looks like there's a bit of a solo adventure here. There's bros chickening out on this one. He said he was too scared to come down here. And you know what? I don't really blame him because it is a little bit slippy. Right. Here I go. Oh, crikey, goodness me. See what I mean, folks? down at the edge of the, uh, the east coast here man as the water comes thumping in here it's really getting a bit rough there could be uh, some sort of inlet thing up there going into that cave there it looks awesome so I think we're just uh, not getting too brave I think we'll just stay here and uh, I think that'll be it we're not going to be too brave man. no no we're both a bit per invalid today Bro's got a really bad chest infection and a sore back as well, and I've just got a very sore back. So, but at least we've made it out and about, folks. At least we've got out. So just sitting around, moaning about it. We've made it out, though. Somehow, sometimes <laughs> I wish we'd just stayed in. But, oh, goodness me! So yes, the wildlife here was a bit, a bit sparse. I must admit, today, not much to see. Just sort of. Uh, seagulls and terns and what well, are those things called stinky spitters or something but there wasn't really much to see in the way of anything exotic I'm afraid now this is the dangerous bit here this is it damn right 